What is up you guys? Good to see you here on Grassroots Gardening. So a couple of you asked for an aviary update. And so you asked for it, so I'm going to show it to you. It's a beautiful Monday here. Today is Labor Day, so I hope all you guys are doing fantastic. I got the day off finally, so I'm just chilling out here eating some Cheetos, chilling out with the birds. Uh, I guess the biggest update that I didn't show you guys yet, I don't think, is remember the video I did where this turned into a disaster when I was pouring the concrete to try to fill in that gap? Well, came out here, used some lumber and uh, actually just cardboard to kind of frame out this area right here and poured some concrete in here. It looks a lot better. I see it cracking just a little bit, but as you guys know, we built this aviary on top of the underground bunker and so it's probably just going to continue to settle over time. I don't know what I'm going to wind up doing eventually. But I'm sure it's going to continue to settle. We'll just have to come, keep coming back and doing regular maintenance and trying to uh, trying to just keep that gap from opening back up. But it looks pretty good so far. Carla, you want a Cheeto? Come down here and get you a Cheeto. Come on, I know you're not supposed to have it, but it's a holiday. You can have just one, okay? You want a Cheeto? What's the dog say? Very good. All right, there's your one Cheeto. You enjoy it, okay? And again, you guys don't have to drop comments below. I know the parents aren't supposed to have junk food, but well, they like it and I like them and everybody can have a treat every once in a while. I bet I know somebody else that wants a Cheeto. Larry, what's up, buddy? Larry, you want a Cheeto? Come here. Come get you a Cheeto. You know you want it. They're delicious and nutritious. Come on, buddy. There you go. How you doing today, buddy? It's hot out here. You been flying around today? Come on. Come on, come get your Cheeto. Come tell everybody, hey. You know you want it. Whoa. <laughs> Got somebody coming up behind us somebody wants another cheeto i'll go get you some grapes in just a second no more cheetos today okay we gotta give larry his cheeto here you go buddy there you go dude all right you enjoy it okay you dropped it there you go bud i got you okay larry Here's some good food so we don't get in too much trouble oh, in the comment section. So you get you some healthy food. And so here's our prosimquat fruit that's growing out here in the floor of the aviary. So I left holes in the concrete slab so I could plant trees out here that you might have seen in past videos. But this thing was going all the way up to the roof almost, but it looks like Larry uh, didn't care for it <laughs> growing that tall, so he decided to prune it for us right there. Larry, nice pruning job, buddy. Scarlet, you want grape, darling? I like to give them these cool treats on super hot days like this. It helps keep them hydrated, and they just absolutely love it. You can see Scarlet's tongue in there. She is just sucking all the grape juice out of that thing. But I give them stuff like oranges and apples and they love bananas and just a little bit of everything. And what I normally, or what I've been doing, I shouldn't say normally, but what I like to do is hide the fruit around in the aviary just to kind of help them, you know, forage a little bit and gives them something to do. So what I'll do, is take the grapes and I put these sections of crepe myrtle all throughout the aviary and so I'll just come in here and stick grapes all over it and hide them in PVC or whatever it just gives them something to do and like I said just kind of forage and make them feel more like they're out in the wild <laughs> right Scarlet you're a pretty bird are you a pretty bird yes you are you gonna get you another grape hmm You've seen the camera before. Don't act like such a weirdo. There you go. Get you another grape, buddy. There you go, Larry. Here's you some more grapes when you get ready. I'll just kind of tuck them in holes or whatever. It's fun for them, I think, to ride. I almost said ride around. <laughs> to walk around and find their own food. 
Well, you made short work of that, didn't you, darling? We'll go inside and give Millie some grapes now. So Millie is inside the greenhouse still because every time I've tried to introduce her out here to Larry and Scarlett, they just start fighting and she is the aggressor. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do there. I talked to my buddy, Steve, he's got a greenhouse and birds and he may give her a home because I just, I've tried probably six different times. Every time I put the birds together, Millie is the aggressor and her and Scarlett fight like mad. And I'm afraid they're gonna break one another's beaks. Right, darling? I wish you would act right so you could go outside in the aviary. There's your grape. I'm gonna go ahead and just put her a few more over here. This is where I put all of her fruit and treats. And she's got a nice big old cage here. This is the one Larry grew up in, but I still would prefer for her to be out in the aviary, but she just, um, her and Scarlett want to kill each other and Scarlett will like run to the other side of the aviary and Millie chases her around. So I just had to do what I had to do and separate them. I'm not exactly sure the final decision of what I'm going to do just yet, but I've tried and tried and I just don't see it working out. Okay, let's go ahead and get the birds set up outside real quick. This is a blend of several different foods I order off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description in case any of you guys are, are curious. And uh, each bird gets one cup of food a day. Here you go, Millie. There's yours. You're welcome. I'll get you some fresh water in a second. Look what I got, Miss Scarlet. <laughs> Your favorite. All right, you're just gonna make a mess and spill it all over the floor. Just like I kind of did. There you go, buddy. Hey, are you hungry, dude? You want some? No, you're going to try to bite my finger. Oh, what you got there? I forgot the name of those nuts. I call them acorn, and then you guys were like, they're not acorns. They're some other kind of nuts. I can't remember right now. But Larry loves them, whatever they're called. So I've got feeders all over. I think we've got, I don't know, four or five total. I hung some additional food bowls and water bowls like this one here. Again, ordered these off Amazon as well, just to make sure they have plenty of food and water to make it through the day since they're kind of getting used to their new surroundings. What do you think, buddy? You're liking it out here, ain't you? You got all the freedom in the world, man. You're hyped up today, ain't you, kid? And I brought us some collards back home from the garden center the other day, so we gotta plant these down in the big garden. Might do a few here uh, out in the green stalk, as well as our raised bed out front. Right now, let's go out, give the birds some water, and then uh, I guess I'll get back to the main purpose of this video and show you guys the aviary. So right out here, I just got this little bird bath they can drink out of and try to bathe in if they want to, but Larry nor Scarlet like bath time, so they just use it for drinking. So change it out once a day, give them some clean, fresh, cool water. And parrots do make an absolute mess with their water, so they'll take their food down there and dip their food in it. and just They're just messy in, in general, so you gotta make sure they have fresh water all the time. Scarlet likes to hang over here by her bell and ring the bell at ungodly hours in the morning and my bedroom is right there so I get to wake up to screaming birds and bells ringing all the time but anyhow I got her a little water over here and something else I did too you guys were mentioning about the PVC not being the best because it's slick and I still got to do some more but I took my sawzall with a wood blade and just let it run up and down this PVC pipe so it gouges it up really good gives them some nice traction and uh, helps keep their feet kind of not getting a bumblefoot. I uh, ordered some of this wood off of Amazon. <laughs> That's gonna be a common theme because I order everything off of Amazon. But ordered some of these wood pieces, drilled a hole in the PVC, screwed it down in there so they, you can see they've been munching on that just to exercise their beaks and they love to tear stuff apart. Hey, we'll give Larry a little bit of water on his side. Larry, he tends to stay on this side of the aviary. Right, buddy? And then Scarlet kind of stays on that side. They fought a little bit, as a, I think I showed in a video in the past. 
but they uh they grew up in cages next to one another so i think they're pretty good now they they made friends and i always go ahead and water my trees while i'm out here too this is a rare ginkgo that i planted out here kind of in the middle of the aviary and it's got more of like a horizontal kind of spreading growth habit to it it's really pretty the reason i have ginkgo and then the citrus fruits planted out here is because neither one of these are poisonous to the birds and so this one's kind of neat how it's spreading out on the floor hopefully it'll just continue to reach out over towards the aviary walls and give the birds something to perch on and and play around on and our prosimquad over there that's a, a hardy fruit that can survive the winters out here i think i did a video on it not too terribly long ago but got a lot of fruit on it right now we're going to plant some more of those seeds see if we can't get some grown up to sell down at the nursery because it is a really cool plant even though larry chopped the top off of it for us this one will be a cool one once it gets large out here if it gets large out here if somebody will quit pruning it yeah that's right i'm talking to you dude and here's another planting i forget what i think this is a persimquat and then some type of hardy orange i can't really remember i got them from uh, aquanus high school in augusta georgia they have quite a large citrus hardy citrus grove planted over there and so they uh, allowed me to take a couple fruits home and i germinated them and these are the results but forget exactly which one this one is and for those of you who are wondering what happens when it rains well i've taken this greenhouse plastic and we made a roof over this cage and this cage right here and then in the very center of the aviary Ella's also got a big piece of plastic so if they want to they can get out of the rain but somebody stayed out in the rain all day the other day because i guess he was too dumb to get out of, get out to take cover weren't you buddy i shouldn't call you dumb i didn't mean it but you did stay out in the rain all day so i've taken these concrete blocks and filled them with cement and put bamboo as well as pvc in them just to anchor so i built them kind of a jungle gym out here and i'm definitely going to add a lot more but just haven't had the time here lately got a lot of stuff hanging for them to play with toys and puzzles and some more of those wooden pieces got some perches out here i hung that which larry's already got it a little bit crooked hung that the other day he, he likes to get up and swing on that Another little swing hanging uh, over there at the very end of that PVC pipe. And then I brought some of the cages from the garden center home too, just to give them something to climb on. And what we're gonna have to figure out is what we're gonna do in the winter time, because I don't wanna put them both inside the cage in the aviary. So I'm thinking about building some structure over here on this wall, or maybe we have heated perches in it. It doesn't get that cold here in South Carolina, but we do have the occasional real, real cold snap where it'll drop below freezing. So I've got to figure out something to do to keep them comfortable. I do know that some folks leave their birds out around here year round, but I just feel really bad for them, especially on those cold, cold, rainy days. So, all right, guys, do y'all behave. Don't fight just because I got the camera out. And I was just bragging on y'all how y'all made friends and y'all were being nice. And then look at you. So this is what? Scarlett and Millie were doing but just way worse they were really fighting going for blood and I was just afraid that one of them was going to break the other one's beak Scarlett why are you being mean you want to step up hmm? you want to step up all right well just leave Larry alone Larry There's plenty of food out here. That's why we have 15 food bowls so that y'all don't have to fight. Here, you step up. I'm worried that she's gonna bite me, me trying to make her step up. Come on, step up. Come on. All right, now Larry, now you quit being bad. Quit. Y'all be nice birds. It's Labor Day. It's a holiday. Everybody's got to get along today and just chill, all right? Be good. Larry, you be good too. You look like you're going to bite me. Oh, goodness. All right, well, there's that. Hey, 
Hey, quit. I'm gonna get the hose. Can we spray you guys? Larry's like, look how big and bad I am. Look at me. A little bird-chested monkey. Scarlet's bigger than you, dude. And it's hot out here. Y'all quit fighting. Hey. Scarlet. Quit. Quit. Larry, you going over there to your side. Y'all quit mis y'all quit misbehaving. Okay. Anyway, what are you gonna do? They're like they're like children. But that's kind of uh, the aviary update. I would definitely want to build some more jungle gem stuff out here. I've got a lot of bamboo that I got from work that I want to build some more structures. Hang some more stuff out here for them just to keep them busy so that they uh, <laughs> won't just fight each other all day long. But it's a pretty cool area out here. It's a nice space. I like to come out here in the afternoon times, just hang out with the birds. I want to get some more seating out here I don't because I don't have any. Um, so I want to put some benches, something like that, so I can come out here and chill out. Hey, now I'm going to get the hose if y'all don't quit. Now I'm trying to make a video here. Quit misbehaving. All right, shower time. Yeah, I thought Larry would take off running the other direction when he saw this hose. Yeah. You tighten up, Larry, or y'all gonna get a shower. <laughs> Neither one of them like getting showers so that's how we break them up okay what were we talking about for us so rudely interrupted seating get some seating out here hang up some more stuff build some more jungle gyms but it really is a neat neat space I think the birds are super lucky to have it out here I did bring this cage back the other day so uh, it had a top when I left the garden center but it fell out the back of the truck somewhere so if you see a top to a bird cage anywhere along Bettis Academy Road uh, it's mine but I'll just keep it out here again just to have them something to climb on and play on and we'll just keep on uh, keep on building out here and watch along as the aviary continues to grow but right now I'm gonna go chill out by the pool drink me something cold it's Labor Day uh, appreciate all you guys for subscribing to the channel hope you're having a wonderful Labor Day appreciate your support we'll see you on the next video and as always the more you know the more you grow see you guys